Okay, I think I'm gonna stop now. Before maybe someone joins. I think I'm gonna address a couple of issues that I already have on the map that I know about and then I will get on the topic of today's stream and create another test chamber in Herma which I prototyped yesterday in the Perpetual Test Initiative Editor. So, let me switch to my screen. Boom. Here is Hammer. And the first issue that I want to fix now is go to this first chamber and I think I have some instances that are Im included using their absolute paths and I need to switch this to relative paths so what I really need to do is to replace all occurrences of uh, portal 2 E1 M1 with the dot symbol, symbol. It's going to complain that the instance doesn't exist, but doesn't know what it's talking about. Dot symbol, of course. Dot symbol, of course. Symbol. Is it symbol or symbol? That's the fastest, the fastest Google Translate in history. Symbol. Symbol. Dot symbol. Dot symbol, of course, means uh, current folder. Which is not true for this instance, but when it's getting included, it uh, actually tries to find, uh, to determine this path relative to the folder where the main map file is located. So it's going to complain it's not going to show up in the editor, but when we compile the map, it's, it all is going to work. So, a little bit boring, a little bit not fun, something that needs to be done. Uh, I think that's all of the I think all of the uh, uh, the only instances that needed replacement were the ones that I've added recently these are the uh, light instances and I think that was all of them these were all of them so I'm just gonna save it and I can close this chamber it's finished it's fine except uh, there's also one instance that I want to edit, which is wall push out. My wall push out instance, because as I've noticed, uh, with these actual lifts that you have in the editor, huh? they go about doing this a little bit differently so they don't just uh, duplicate the same item so I just need to find it piston great piston top and yeah and I think I need to replace this with straight piston top and I need to also adjust the other parts of the piston. Right. 
have a feeling it's not gonna align that well. Or is it maybe? Oh, maybe it will. And because of the incorrect way that I did this previously, it's all kind of squished. I kind of need to edit all of that. And I actually even have a feeling that it's not all of them. So it's tip, med, and, and base. Let's look at the radius on this. So I think I need the mid. No, the mid is too big. Mid and and this is of course going to be the one we had previously. Base is going to be just absolutely huge, I think. Yep as it should be so the mobile browser is like it today so this of course is not what we need props game for crush a piston nope and this is props map editor so no i guess we got it all right Except, yeah, need to change this back to the end mall. And apply, and yeah. Though it doesn't seem really right. But I guess it is. Let's compile the map and see how it looks in the game. How it's supposed to look in the game. Fuck, I spilled juice. I'm drinking juice. And I spilled it. Close a bit. The sea cheats one so we can fly and... I mean, yeah, that's how it looks in the area. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. Looks really weird, but... Okay, if that's how it should be. Then I shouldn't have a problem with that. Maybe I can replace... Uh... Maybe I, I could replace the... Also, this is the base. And then the second one is supposed to be mid. Also, it is the mid, and this is the end. Also, it's, it's actually just the way it's supposed to be now. Great. Perfect. Now I can close that. And... Here is the scale for... I think uh, this is from the time where I kind of recreated the basic uh, layout. And I did it, and I was supposed to do it correctly, so I'm gonna create a new file. And I'm just gonna paste it in there. And this is our room, of course, I would center it. Oh, wait, that's, that's not how I center it. This is how I center it. And I'm gonna go to instances, chambers, and I'm gonna name it room. Cool. And that's the foundation for our disk chamber. Probably should make a corner. And now I can go back to the map. And create a funk instance. And put it just there. J 
just oh maybe here. Alt enter and the map file name browse maps instance chambers room four and surely need to make it the world that hopefully it worked now I delete no it was an instance so I need to grab the brush delete the brush and yeah the instance is now where it's supposed to be amazing now I can go to the to the instance file Oh, did it close the file? How would it do that? Edit instance. Now I get to the instance. And that's where the fun begins. So, now I think I can show what the map is, the chamber is supposed to be like. I have this very basic idea for it. Which is a bit of a set and called light bridge. And that's basically it. Oh yeah, also a laser. Lasers are important. You would go here, you would think, uh, that's an easy chamber. You drop the key, you get the laser, you exit. Right? Well, wrong. Because as soon as you press it, the power in the chamber will shut down. Actually, the light bridge will be, will supposed to, but the, the hot light bridge is supposed to turn off. And the laser post turns off, and you get to this backstage area, and you have to press the button, kind of reset, resume the power for the chamber. Except the laser gets broken, and it just doesn't turn back on. So what you have to do now, is you will go and... Go further into backstage area, into the backstage area. Well, actually, you wouldn't go further into backstage area, I'm stupid. I forgot how to solve my own chamber. You would be supposed to get the cube, of course. Because that's what portal player is supposed to be. Resourceful, and you will go to the backstage area. Um, and you'll like go on a catwalk of course I couldn't make a catwalk in this editor you'll go into a room which will be somewhat of a damn room for a laser and you will have to get the laser from this room and into where you want it to be, and you've, of course you are not supposed to die. Let me just show, ah, show you. It's actually such a disgrace that I cannot complete my own chamber. I die so frequently. Let me do this. Boom. Grab the cube. Put wall on here. Take a walk. Um, fail a jump. I mean, this shit happens. Probably. You can just go up. And keep on with your journey. You can just do this. Hopefully, not die this time. Thankfully. Actually, remember that 
you're supposed to aim with the laser and not just like so you can just like you can actually aim and hit the target that was nervous and you can go to the end of the map you need to press a button you go into this little room using the portal that you've placed get the key and you best allow the chamber <laughs> i mean and it's not as complicated as the previous one but i think that is still kind of a nice puzzle <clears throat> So now I have to recre recreate this, but in, well, camera. And let's begin by uh, just placing a bit of acid. I think I'm gonna do the same thing as with the... Actually, let me check how big this map is. So it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Which oh, go is eight, eight by six, and this is eight by six, and one of the blocks, one block is one hundred and twenty-eight units uh, long. So, so this is of course not how it's going to be in, in, in reality. Like uh, the space that I have is about this big. Wait, really? Well, maybe I'm making a mistake. It couldn't be this small. Let me exit the edit and then to main menu. And actually load the map that we're working on. Let me go there. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was talking about. There's no way this space is that small. I think it's actually... appropriate size. So it's 128. No way it's that small. No way. I actually have the chamber the workshop chamber open in the hammer editor also like i've loaded the preview.vmf so i can just i can judge the size of it by the trigger hurt size i think i believe so it's seven six eight units wide so it is this big and my chamber that I'm working on is in fact very small so I wouldn't really save space then I'm gonna use all the available space all the space that I have and I'm gonna like make it all just one big ace tool so let me actually Duplicate it. Extend this to some reasonable height. And uh, since it's an acid pool, of course, we make it mostly no draw. And we only texture the top face in uh, a set. No, it's war. It's supposed to be some kind of the water, water swamp. And to well, must be behind the scenes gliders. Yeah, I think it's water swamp. And underneath the water, I'm supposed to make a trigger hurt. Browse. Oh, uh, okay. Let's texture it 
appropriately and the entity Correct. And I think the default settings will be enough. Yeah, I think the default settings suit just fine. Let's actually just let's go with the fast build. Since we're not testing lighting really. What what was that? What was that? What on come back? What were you trying? I've lost it. It's lost forever. What I was trying to say. Where are the? Where are these rooms? Did I just not include them? You know what? Doesn't matter. Yeah, I died. I probably need some kind of light. Because just... Let me show everything and just include all of the stuff. Go to the instance and... Let me actually make the chamber board borders. So browse the wall. Then make the vaults. How high is this chamber supposed to be? I'm guessing two, three uh, units that are 128 units. So I'm guessing that high? Mm, probably. And, yep. And I can also move this water. And I duplicated it one too many times. And I can make a ceiling out of it. Just make it all not wrong. And actually, let me go to the to the previous chamber and pick up the textures because I want the chambers to be consistent, consistent in texturing. So, bullshit tab, bullshit tab. Maybe, yeah. Go here. And boom. Oh, come the fuck on. Lift plus select. So I'm just ch gonna change the mode to just select all over the walls. It seems too big, honestly. Why does it look so big? Oh wait, it is that big. So it's completely normal. Okay, fine. And then the ceiling texture. Oh, let's plus select. Switch them all to select only. Just paint it. And go back to it. And uh, yeah, let's put a light in there. Light. Light spot. Put it somewhere here. Facing down. Yeah, it's. No. Actually, could give it a wider angle 60 degrees. Make it 
10 times brighter than it's supposed to be. And I think I can now just build the map. And see if we actually pick the right water texture. Boom, 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 boom. It honestly looks kind of awful. Let me see what does the pre-made acid do with this. So, what's that? Toxic slime. It's toxic slime. Extra. Go here and yeah, I need to apply a toxic slime material to this. And now it's supposed to be proper slime bed. Rotating picture. It said something about the rotating picture MDL. But it scrolls just too fast and it doesn't keep all the lines. And it just spams the warnings. Which is kind of sad I wanted to know what it says. Maybe I should like F9. Uh, maybe I should just screenshot it. Yeah. And while it builds, unveil the mystery. To use model props with prop static, it must be compiled with static prop. Oh. Oh, I guess I'm. That was a useful message. I guess I don't have, yeah, the picture is not there. Fuck up the picture. Also, the map is too dark because I compiled it without HDR. It's fine. This looks like it looks like it was stretched too big. To be completely honest. Like it doesn't look the way it does in the game. For some reason. I'm gonna just go left plus select. So it's uh, texture scale one. Okay. Maybe I'm not supposed to have a texture scale one. In the real, in the real deal. So. Toxic slime texture scale. Let's go one one. Maybe. And let's not make it a priority, really. Where am I supposed to put the the entrance, I wonder? I think that should be the priority. Let me just see. Close this chamber. Don't need it for now. Oh, so I was actually pretty close to where it should be. Boom, yeah. And now I make it 128 units wide. And that's where the entrance is. Allow me to just keep it as a reminder for now. Just even. Invisible. Or maybe, maybe not wrong. I don't really know the difference. To be completely honest. Let me put it somewhere up. Or it wouldn't mess stuff up. 
but I kind of will have the idea of where I need to keep the entrance. And let's actually browse the instances. Actually, let's go to the file manager. And oh, wait, wrong window. <laughs> With the font size, yep, it's too big. It doesn't really matter. Let's go to local share team team apps um common uh world to a content maps instances. Let's go to gameplay. Let's see if there's the bridge. Animated push out bridge. No, it's not what I want. Is this the only one that has bridge? What about Pizza Editor? You know what? Fuck it, let me just. I'll have a much better time just finding it like this. Bridge VMS. Or maybe I should just go to the and see B to edit. Oh, this it is a bridge VMF. So I go to objects in funk instance. And I go to about here and put it just above the water. So I actually want no it's not where you're supposed to put it. So I want it just at the floor level. And I want the water to just be below the floor level actually. So let me do that. And I want the walls go below the wall level, like this. So I would have like an entrance and stuff. And where's the funk instance? There it is. Actually, let me bring this back to the ground level and see where it will kind of join the with the other parts of the map. Also, this is actually the ground level. So this blue line is ground level. So I am gonna bring the funk instance up. VMF file name, let's map instances, video editor, bridge VMF, yes, please. Start enabled, um, nope. Don't. It's actually very big. Well, it's actually not that big. This kind of big. So this blue line is ground level, so I'm gonna put this on level with the blue line. Okay, and I actually bring up the water. It was just fine. And actually, I need to start active. This one needs to start enabled. That's it. Let's compile the map. 
and see our first gameplay element. And hopefully the water texture will be fixed. Oh yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be now. And there's our light bridge. So, uh... Now I'm gonna create the little exit island, but not before I take a little break. Uh, I'll be right back in a minute. I am back. Mm -hmm. Oi, let me put my microphone a little closer. Because I feel like it might not be picking up everything that I say. So, yeah, transition back to my screen. And back to Hammer. So... What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start just adding this these gameplay elements. So I'm just gonna first of all duplicate it and I'm gonna create a new hot light bridge that's gonna go to the exit to let's delete it <laughs> it kind of collides with the first one so it's actually just for now create this little exit area i suppose the exit door is supposed to be also right here so it's one two 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 one two. That's where the X door is supposed to be. And oh, look at that! It's precisely two hundred and fifty-six units. Amazing. So I can just do it one twenty-eight by two hundred and fifty-six units block. Boom. Put it in there. Uh, and first of all, texture the sides like the. I need to go in there. And I want to pick up the texture from the from this side. So it's wall metal OO2B. So I'm going to browse for 
wall underscore mel. And where's the O to be? Yep. And now I'm going to look for something that looks familiar. But that looks a little bit more ruined. It's probably this. No, it's that's exactly the one that I'm using. So maybe... You know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna make it smaller. And that's it. That's going to be my solution. Actually, let me bring the walls up and make, then make the lower part of walls match the style. So this is going to go like this. And I'm going to just... like this and of course this looks awful because I fucked it up a little it needed to be a little lower like that yep going great now what I want to do is pick up the floor texture from my chamber. Sadly, I don't think I can do it. Yeah, I cannot do it from the from the parent map. I need to open the instance and go there and black floor metal 01D. I need to remember that. I need to go back to the map. Yeah, do this. Okay, it's not prop very well aligned. Fix that. Yep, now it's good. And I can also put a button in there. So it's going to be another punk instance. I'm gonna fix VMF file name browse. YouTube maps instances buttons. Hello button black and tagged. Yes, please. I don't think yeah, I think it's going to be the the button that's Yeah, that's clean. So I'm probably gonna go P2 SDK content maps instances. And I don't really remember gameplay. Let me just actually search for button. Floor cube button. Black, white, black, white. Floor button base destroyed black. What did I use for the other chamber? Because I don't... Oh, wait. Where at? Oh, I didn't turn on the lights. When I turn on the lights, they'll go. Yeah, they all appear. Oh, so I use just... Oh, this is cheap. This is supposed to be... To look worse. They aren't supposed to look this good. So let me actually take a little detour, detour, and flow button black intact. Where is it? So let me actually copy it. it be, and copy it to the my. Oh, 
World 2 E1 and 1 uh, instances. And I'm just gonna. Nope. And I'm just gonna copy this. And I'm gonna put it, put it destroyed. Or maybe dirty. Yeah, I think dirty will sound more like it. I'm gonna go to Hammer. And first of all, I'm gonna go to the Maps Instances Tech 30 Fly. Doesn't really change anything yet. Keyword is yet. So first of all, I will go to this uh, finished chamber, and I'm going to change these buttons to the newly created instance. Of course, keeping the relative paths. File does not exist. You are wrong. It does. Um, I don't know why didn't they like make a proper implementation of relative paths. We'll see why file does not exist. No, it does. I'm I'm fairly sure when I'm going to compile you, it's going to be completely fine for some reason. Also, Control A doesn't work for some reason. Like that's the only place where it doesn't work. B, why? Why? Yep. And I'm done with that. And let's open this instance. So it's dirty. And I'm just gonna replace the pedestal. Destroy it black. And that's all I'm going to do. And I can just close this now. And I can just compile the map. And as you can see, it compiles perfectly. Actually, I've just remembered since it kind of shouted at us that we couldn't use it. We couldn't, you couldn't have the picture as a prop static. Let me actually make it a prop dynamic. Prop dynamic. Yeah, I think prop dynamic will do. Now let's build the map now. Let me pour some juice. And the compilation is finished. That's nice. Go back to the game. Turn off, turn off full bright. Let's now we can turn it back on. And I mean, it worked. The bots are all higher for some reason, though. Except for one of them. One of them is fine. All the others are too high. This is very, very weird. Like, what, what could be a reason for it? I just copied the... I just copied it. It's almost the same uh, map. It's almost the same VMF. Did it just decide that it's gonna go up for some reason? I, I guess so, because... These just stayed in place. that 
One, two, three, four. I guess that's where it's supposed to be. With these, I have no fucking clue how low should I put them. So let's, let's play a little guessing game. So, restart the map. And I just poured juice on my phone. Spilled, I think. The word I'm looking, I'm looking for. Because I didn't do it intentionally. What wipes? Wipe it because it will get sticky. Done. Okay, let's go. And look at the buttons. These is this is fine. This is supposed to be a little lower, I guess. Or maybe not even a little. Maybe it's supposed to be like sitting in the ground. Or maybe even lower. Not sure about that. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Like, right in the floor. So... I'll have to do the same with the top buttons. Close. Hopefully never open again. Also, I have this button in this room, but it doesn't seem... Did I not save it? I also suppose... I'm also supposed to have the button in this room. So, let's rebuild the map. Maybe I didn't save it. Maybe I just forgot to save it. Run. Yeah, I just forgot to save it. Now it works. And it's perfectly fine. Great. It's amazing. Can I continue with my endeavor? So, since the exit is going to be right in front of the entrance, I will have the uh, light bridge that gets us to the exit go right from this place. And it's going to be off by default, not enabled. Nope. Mm -hmm. And now I have to get the the laser receiver. Don't be. Um, laser relay. 
offset. I think it's going to be laserly offset. Because it's supposed to be a little lower. So let's be the editor. Laser relay offset. Why? How it looks? Oh, it's the wrong one. Laser, laser catcher, maybe. L, L, laser catcher offset. Is that you? Looks like it. Yeah. So I have to rotate it now. The problem is I don't really see any infrastructure surrounding. Like, obviously, it's supposed to be placed right here. But I sadly don't see anything that's that I expect to see around it. Let's go to the workshop map and see how they did it. Oh, it's actually pretty basic stuff. I think I'm just gonna copy all of this. Well, maybe not the catch part. Boom, 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 boom. Bank. It doesn't really like to be picked that way. Control. Oh, so I was selecting the faces. This makes sense why I, like, wouldn't do what I want now. And it's very laggy. Just in case you haven't noticed, it's not something with the stream. Just the the editor is very laggy on this map. So yep. Together with this, I'm gonna do control C. I'm gonna go to my the map that I'm editing. I'm gonna do control V. I'm gonna do control G to group it. And I'm gonna have to cut the wall. Hmm. Maybe actually let me ungroup it and see how much I can delete without damaging the thing. Not much actually. So, this is supposed to be a group now, again, and I'm just gonna just put it into the wall. Oh, it doesn't even align. Oh, that's disgusting. Guess I will have to do it myself. I will still have to do it myself, so. Oh, I delete. It's in there. So, I guess now I have to cut the wall. Boom. Boom. And cut again. Boom. And delete the the part of the wall that messes things up and 
and add a new brush. It's actually not one. New brushes, to be uh, completely honest, and boom, 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 and then I will have to texture them accordingly. Boom, boom. And the only thing that I need now from this is back panels cheap, the material name. So back panels cheap. And I can just texture everything now. And it's gonna look just like valves. Maybe even better. Let's build the map and check it out. Oh, it's snowing outside. It's been snowing all day. It's a very snowy winter here. Let's go. And I guess in Russia in general. I have people like in other cities who also say that they're having a snowy winter. Okay. So this looks kind of fine. A little claustrophobic, but fine. So next step is making basically the same thing but with laser sander. Actually, I will probably extend the chamber a little. So I will do 128 units more. Two, three, four. So I need to move it around here and the lower part to and the inst button instance. And also extend the walls and the ceiling too, but first the walls. And you're gonna see why I'm why I'm doing that in about a second. Let me just finish moving stuff. Trigger first. The last part is the same ceiling. That's all because this area is supposed to have this large breaker, like large block. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is 128 units. And so no draw. I texture the top face, no draw, and I extend this block to the ceiling. Oh, even better, I duplicate it and then extend it. Because this way, I can texture it a little differently. Yep. 
this is how I want it to look. Uh huh. And now, oh, maybe I shouldn't have extended the water so far. There's not going to be water in the water in there. In this block, I will now cut the. Well, first of all, I will just place the instance in there. So there's going to be a laser sender. So browse, beta editor, laser emitter offset. Of course, the offset matters. Not really, <laughs> to be honest. I still, I like, I am free, I can move it. But to make things easier, just to make things easier, I'm going to use the offset one. Boom. And now cut this brush. Select the wrong place. Cut. Cut this part also. Only keep the upper part. And. Yeah. And now I can texture the inside. Boom. Back, I don't remember what it's called. Back panels, yeah, back panels. Cheap, it's supposed to be cheap. Back panels, oh, cheap, yeah. Just cover all of this cheap back panel section. This is the mirror, start enabled, yes. F9, and I attempted to compile the instance, sadly the counter is gone. Actually, I can bring it back. Clean, instance compile counter, and what? It was at 19, how did it go to 11? It's now 20. Happy 20, everyone. We've tried to compile the instance 20 times. Go there. Oh, that's the control room. And we'll look at that. It's a functioning laser. Oh, wait. I forgot which button spawns cubes. Also, the FPS is kind of garbage for some reason. Not really sure why. But it is very bad. Oh, wait. What is this? Is it garbage because of that? I guess I should move the ending part. I should just do this. Control, control, control. Just move it outside. Also this. All of this should be grouped, I think, and moved. Control G, and I'm gonna move it outside. Build a map. Hopefully it's gonna improve performance. Because now the room is sealed. Or at least it should be.
It's still 50 FPS. Well, I guess this happens sometimes. I don't really have a reasonable explanation for it. Except that, like, a simple... Wait, what? Did it just close the terminal? And the FPS just... fixed itself? Oh, I guess... The reason is Firefox playing the video in the background. <laughs> so... Yep. That's how the map looks now. The chamber. Now... Um, what we're going to do next is... Add our magnificent lift. So, let's go back to the... Portal folder that I've closed. Because I thought that maybe Terminal is making it. Which is of course stupid. How the fuck is the Terminal supposed to eat all of the system resources and drop my FPS by 20? That's fucking impossible. So FD... Lift. Lift platform. I think it's Lift standalone. The one that uh, the maps use. What is this monstrosity? Lift underscore standalone dot VMF. I actually want to just open it and see how many nested uh, instances does it have. Not much actually, it's all... It's all one thing, it seems. Well, except for the for the underground part, which is so. If I delete this, it's just a box, which I think I can just copy. Control C. It's also not textured, not raw, so I think I will do that. Control V and group it just in case and move it over here honestly yeah okay, I'm back fuck my internet service provider fuck them I hate them with Passion, and I hate the dormitory I live in with passion. This fucking idiots had a fucking blackout on one of the stories, and they is just oh, oh, I guess you not have an internet. Shut the, f just go fuck. It. I'm so goddamn pissed. Fucking hate this place. I hope they like, choke and like I don't know. Lose their fucking life savings, I don't know. Something. Go fucking broke. God damn. Hate it. With Fashion. <clears throat> fuck my dormitory and fuck my internet service provider. This is not the first time it's happening also. Like, this happens on a regular basis. It's not like a one-time thing or like, oh, I guess they screwed up. They always screw up. 
Like, all the fucking time. How, how does this even keep happening? It's just... Wow. Liftstandalone.pmf I need a liftstandalone.pmf Please. Just like... How do you like have a blackout on one story of your building? That will like, for some people it will shut down the power completely. For some people it will, the power will go out but only in some of the sockets. And some people like me will have all the power still on but they won't have internet. Like... What? what? This is, and like, ha have it happen like two days in a row. Well, how? This doesn't make any fucking sense to me. And all of this aside from this being like the shittiest ever place. Like, literally the chicken I have in the soup had better life conditions than I do in this dormitory. Fucking hate it. Allow or, allow or trigger. No. Connection count doesn't matter. Start up. Yes. Top level. I guess 2 and bottom level 0. Why, hopefully, I got it correctly. I hate this place. And the ocean just fucking fell apart or something. I don't know anything. Just get me out of here. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What the, is this supposed to be? Well, at least it just takes you up. I guess it doesn't it's work. But what the this goddamn shit shit. Like what what's 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 that? Well, this is this is a part of the instance. How is this not visible in here? Like undo the deletion. So I'm just supposed to have it like, like that, like rotate it and live it in the open. And I'm sup supposed to believe if I do that, it's just gonna be fine, right? I I'm suppo supposed to believe that. Valve wants you to believe that if you rotate this piece of crap, th this like annoying orange block is not going to be visible. Let's see if it's true. Oh, well, I mean... It's there. Still there. This is also still there. I honestly didn't expect really anything else. Honestly. Maybe connection count to zero. Maybe. 
Like, why the... How come when, it is, when, when I compile this map... Like, this orange stuff does not show up. But when, when I compile my map, it does. What role does it play in this instance? Aside from just being there, annoying. Punk move linear. Don't you think it would have been like more proper? Control Z. Hammer crashed. Because of course it would crash. Like, I don't know, like. And undo buffer is like a very hot thing to implement. It's not like people were doing this like since fucking eighties or something. Or whenever they started doing this. Which I like I don't know for sure how long were they doing undo buffer for. But like I'm guessing a long time. Like n n no. It seems like a reasonable reason reasonable thing to like cause a crash in the editor made like by a multi-billion dollar company that they themselves used and I mean yeah sounds sounds kind of right to, to me to me it does completely reasonable and now it's gone Where's the... Where's the... Where's the bullshit? Where'd it go? Where, where's the bullshit? It, ju it just disappeared. Yeah, there's also, by the way, one thing that it likes to do. It likes just, like, showing something, then putting it in the map for some reason. Then you start the editor and it's fine. This fella just loves to do it. Just absolutely lost. Especially when you undo stuff. Like, that's just its fav- It's back. It returns for more. It's also all fucked up. Like, completely. Thanks. Some, some goddamn reason. Let's go to preview.vmf. Load it again. I just really want to see how it's implemented by, by them. No, there's, there's obviously something I'm missing. They must be like some kind of like clever hack that they put in there to like not draw fucking rect rectangles. You know what? Maybe I fucked up the instance. Oh yeah, and I also cannot switch to another window while the hammer like takes its precious time to open the the map while it like loads five times the same instance that it has already loaded but it just d doesn't know because they, apparently they didn't invent like having a list of the assets you, you've already loaded that you can just check if it's loaded already they apparently didn't have this back in 2011. Was not a thing. Was not invented. Like, people didn't even know what gravity is. Like, it was a long time ago. It would be funny if they actually do have this piece of crap here somewhere, but I'm just, I just don't know about it because it still takes a lot of time to load the simplest fucking map. Just happens to have like some amount of instances. 
I can't seem to find the the orange stuff that like keeps popping. Like th this shit. This shit. I I can't find it. I I don't see it in, in the hammer. There is. There is. Debug underscore top. Why the fuck? Why on earth is the is the thing that like called debug have has like debug underscore prefix? How on earth does this get rendered? Maybe I have like developer one or something? And like developer one? And uh, I die. Yeah, I have like developer one. And, like, yeah, I want to see the box textures because it's developer one. Like, it's still there. Maybe I just broke the instance. Maybe maybe I, I broke it somehow. Maybe I'm just gonna like create test chambers, room concept. Let's uh, recompile it. Hi, carrot. I'm complaining again. You're like, you joined in the middle of me complaining. How how's your day going? I hope you have not <laughs> that many things to complain about yourself. So, what? What? <laughs> I broke the fucking editor. It's maybe it's a switch cheats it's zero. It's a switch is one. What? You, you see? What the fuck? Um. 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 Oh, okay. I. Yes. Still cubes you can complain about. Feel free to complain. It's like... A no judgment for complaints stream. Also, this looks like, like garbage. This looks fucking horrible. This, this pre-made asset they have. Just look at this. Just look at look at how bad it is. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna exit the game. I'm just gonna exit the game, and I'm gonna. First of all, I'm gonna back up the files. So I'm just gonna go to yeah, the projects hammer and just add everything. Just connect and back. Day 15 back up just in case and I'm gonna like upload it because just in case when I start verifying the files it's a lot to explain we help we have all the time in the world if only you want to like I'm gonna verify the files so we have time Can you can you hear me biting the apple? No, you cannot, thankfully. By the way, I saw po I saw your post on Reddit the other day. Uh, yeah. So cube spawn, okay. Let me guess, it spawns just a bunch of cubes. Just like way more than it's supposed to. Oh no, the cubes need to be different sizes. 
Okay, let me guess now. Like, the engine does not support scaling models. The cues. All at the same speed. I came out of ideas what he was talking about. I'm just gonna <laughs> wait for you to explain. So big cubes need to be fast. Makes sense. The small one need to be slow. Okay. Because you like scaling the space and like you can scale space in the engine and you need to scale the the velocity instead. Hit a trigger at the same time, okay? Oh, it's fixed. I verified the files and it's fixed. All hail the hammer gods. Yeah, I also just tried to compile a fucking instance again. Control Alt 5. But because things things can't fall different. Can you I think you mean they cannot fall differently. Is that what you mean? But yeah, I guess I understand the issue. I mean, if you only had the cube in one room, like if you only had like all the cubes of only one size on the screen, they can fall differently? Then what's the problem? Just tell them to fall the way you want them to fall. I don't, I don't really understand the issue then. It's, it's, it's here. It's back. Oh, so like the physics get messed up. You seen this shit? So now I exit to main menu, right? And I go like community test chambers. Create test chambers, room for concept, edit. And I bet you, when I build it now, there's going to be this orange piece of shit. You can get around this by spamming prop physics of the different cubes, but then I have another issue where they don't want to spawn. Yeah, now I have to verify the game files again. Fuck you. I wish I had a camera now, because I just shown, like, fuck you on the screen. Jesus, like... Not you, not you, Carrot. I'm, I'm talking to Portal, of course. Cubes, why? <gasps> Can't you just create a custom model that will fix the... the... Collision issue. Oh, you have the models, that's right, because you cannot scale the models in engine, so you have to have the different models. Oh, 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 yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so let, let me go. You um, can't have maps to this. So let me, let me just have a local instance of this piece of crap. Lift uh, standalone BMF. Uh, no orange shit. Don't be an F. Mm. 
just cubes the pain. Also, the, yeah, I have hammer add-ons. As you've uh, recommended me, I've installed this. As you can see, I have this, like, this shit. I actually didn't really see any benefit. So I didn't notice any difference besides, like, these separators, like, the way that the properties are ordered and, like, some textures. I didn't really notice anything, like, any significant change, to be honest. So, edit instance, go here, replace it with my custom stuff. Live standalone browse. Instant. Instances live standalone, no orange shit. Apply. And let me edit this instance and remove the orange shit. As new stuff like back tubes? Wait, really? Back. Oh! Back tubes blind. So. So it will procedurally generate generate the back tube junction. So oh this is this is actually cool. Oh, I'm guessing script war prop cable. So it, it's like the cable, right? You have objects flying around. Oh that's so cool. I should have I should have read the the description. Let me reset it like back to punk instance because that's the one I use most. Should have read the description before he started like using it. Wait, what? Where is it? Where is it? Boom. Um, invisible. Why? I don't know what Valve couldn't have done it them themselves. Like, why do you even have this? Textures, so goddamn stupid. Oh wait, uh, what texture should I use for like no clip stuff? Not so. Oh, it, it's not solid anyway. So, and this flag's not solid. Cancel. So I should have this shit hidden now. And I've tried to complete the instance, compile the instance again. Fuck yeah. How high am I? 25. Wait, 22. Sorry. Fucking insanity. You want them one. Let's go. I swear to god, if there's orange shit again. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm like... I'm just gonna go and... Play something. Instead of, like, making this... No. Thankfully there's no orange shit. By the way, Carrot, did you, um, uh... oh, I guess you wouldn't really enjoy it now. I don't know if you saw the, like, the way this chamber turned out. It, it's not lit very good, because I'm doing a fast compile. But I think it turned out decent. I think it turned out nice. Like, you can look from this place also, like... I think it turned out nice. What the... Oh yeah, it's not raw.
By the way, how, how many maps have you made already? I recall you only had two last time, like finished, and you had some in making. And you recently made a Reddit post with the same like video, showing off like the beginning of your map pack. How's the progress going? Well, aside from this like cube stuff. Cubes. Also, that's like the major issue you have encountered. Encount encountered. Fuck cubes, man. I don't know if you were here, but when I was making this this piece of crap, right? Like this. The issue I have encountered. I also encountered an issue with cubes. I mean, with cube droppers. When uh, I wouldn't really name them. So, I wouldn't name them properly, they would be nameless. At that time it made sense because it, like, it didn't have anything, they did, weren't connected to anything, right? And this piece of shit would spawn like four cubes, like all inside of this black like, tube. And when you ask it to drop it, or maybe I'm guessing like this one wasn't named and this one was, and you would click a button. Like, and one of the cubes will get deleted, and like, it will just drop four cubes, and they will get stuck. And like, you couldn't get a cube out, because like, it would spawn too much cubes, and they would just get stuck. It was insanity, man. So... I'm with you on this one, fuck cubes. Also, uh, maybe you can solve your problem, like, if your cubes start misbehaving. Maybe you can do some cheating and set host time scale to, like, so, like, you can slow down all the physics, but then speed up all the velocities. I don't know if it's going to make any difference, though. Yeah, it's probably not going to make any difference. I'm stupid. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. What next? Next is was the button. That I was supposed to put somewhere here. Alt and uh, VMF file name, and let's search for a button. Uh, floor button. Pedestal button. .vmf. Oh wait, I can... I'm stupid, I'm sorry. I can just do prop underscore button. To be honest, I don't know. I just wanted to be done with. I don't really know how to cheer you up. To be completely honest. <laughs> it sounds like... 
It sounds terrible. <laughs> what do you have to do? It sounds terrible. Uh, 128, 128, 128. Let me just create this fucking uh, dev texture. Block or measure. So like the, the 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 only problem that you have is that like your physics start like misbehaving it just breaks right mm. fuck this just fuck this just oh my Fucking god, fuck this. Yeah, the spawning is an issue as well. Okay. Spawning issue as well. So, how do you even do it? I wonder. Like, you make a. It works. Let me just open my. Let's use some brush test. Where's the. World 2 rooms. Yeah. So this this stupid crap so I make a prop physics right do you have discord yeah I do I think you've asked me already If it's if it's going to be about like the thinking with portals portals Discord, I didn't get that. <laughs> so world model cube, yeah. Uh, I actually don't know why. Like I just they just didn't accept me. What the fuck is that? And yes, so do I have this prop? You do the, the button. Ah, oh, come on, but the UI is misbehaving. Uh, flow, prop flow button. Whenever, wherever, we're here. Doesn't really matter. Let's just see how it works. So, map. Rooms, I guess it was. Yeah, it didn't accept me. Oh, wait. What? Why isn't it? What's so special about the cube that, like. What's so special about it? Maybe I just need to make it hella heavy? Performance mode. I don't think that's what you mean. Where's the weight? How did you get that lighting? Wasn't that you who showed me this? I don't remember. It's not lighting, actually. Wait, what? It's also kind of broken. Oh yeah, it's broken. I need to make a full compile.
It's the portals. Yeah. I guess it needed... No, it's still broken. Like, I have two rooms. One is lit with a blue light, the other one is lit with the red with the red light. Yeah, world portal. It broke for some reason, though. Wait. World 2, world, world, limit. Link, yeah, link portal door. Ah, portal. Ah, portal. Past path zero. And restart the map. And I think it's supposed to be good now. No. It's not. I don't know why it used to, like, work well. As you can see, it just doesn't do what I want it to do. It used to look different. I mean, you you probably know, know what I mean, so it, like, used to show the, like, you would exit it and it will still look like this, instead of, like, having this stupid goddamn... Ow! Ow! Goddamn cube. Actually, let me see. Maybe I'm mistaken. A second. Let me switch to my uh, turn by screen. I'm I'm just gonna go into my uh, main browser, into Messenger, so I don't really want to. I don't want to show the messages. Oh, maybe I should have went to my. Yeah, that's how it was supposed to be. Mm. Copy image. I'm sorry. I'm gonna close it now. I'm gonna go back to my screen. That's how it looked. That's how it used to look. I don't know what broke. I have no fucking idea. Why it looks like this now. Because it used to be different. Anyway, I'm gonna try to replace. Where's the weight? Render effects, collisions, the physics. Maybe have you tried other other collision modes? It wouldn't help probably, but maybe worth a try. Mass scale. F many thousand many thousand restart what the fuck <laughs> oh i just no clipped i no clipped no oh i, I cannot pick it up yeah it's it's too heavy <gasps> What if I just put it right above the button? And compile the map. Will it still not press? Will it just fall on the button and not press it? Even though it's like... Man, this button has balls. Is there like any way to make it... Nope. It doesn't give a fuck. 
So maybe. Oh, it has mass scale. It all it has all of the physics prop parameters. Kill factor for inertia. A thousand. What's going to happen? Oh, that's amazing. Wee Cube spin. <gasps> Aperture science bay blades. We oh also the map is fixed somehow. I don't know how it fixed itself, but it did. Can I like tilt it a little? And take it now and like spin it like this. Actually. I also want to tilt it in this direction. No. <laughs> this is so stupid. Can I ride it like a carousel? Ah, oh, come on. Don't be such a dick. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I love it. Can spin on the button. No, I. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs Frank and Terry when you got this? Okay, let's go back to like to the business. I'm gonna admit I don't know how to do the uh, hold on for a second. I don't know how the fuck am I supposed to do the... The big cube thing. I guess you know how. Oh, and I guess you're not watching anymore. <laughs> but... Um, okay, anyway. Go back to the... Chamber and be productive for once. And because uh, I need to remove that, and I need to cut the wall and make some surfaces portable. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, four. So I need also... So I need to select this. And then I need to cut, because otherwise I'm gonna end up with a lot of, like, useless panels. As I've learned the hard way. 
You hate cubes? I've just made the funniest shit ever. I've made an Aperture Science Beyblade. Look at this. You still hate cubes? How? You just like edit the angular momentum, uh, like angular, no, not angular momentum, angular, angular inertia multiplier. So it just like has a lot of like inertia and it just doesn't stop spinning. It just, it just spins almost indefinitely. It just doesn't lose any angular momentum. You can just like push it around and shit. Because it is still like... The, fin the physics engine still thinks it's, that it's light, but it just doesn't lose the angular momentum. Momentum. Oh yeah. This is stupid but fun. I wonder how you are doing the cubes. How do you make them like push a button and shit? You still... You still hate them. Okay, okay. I get it. You you have your beef with them. Understandable. You like have your own business with them. I'm not gonna hate cubes yet. They didn't do shit to me. Uh, lift. Can I lift? Thank you. And I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna boom. 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 Uh hold on for a second. They did shit to you. Uh, I get it. You have your right to hate the cubes. Officially granted. You know I'm kind of an... I am an official on behalf of all the cubes. Like, I can allow and deny people hating cubes. You are allowed to hate cubes, like, officially. Fuck. You know how there are, like, these agencies that will give you, uh, some stupid shit? Oh yeah, Hammer. Hammer decided to do this thing again where it, like, doesn't realize Something has changed. Like, my favorite thing that Hammer does. Or am I just stupid? Do I not realize something? Oh, wait, I didn't. What's this for you? Oh. 
Oh, no, no, it's just, it's just me who is stupid. Yeah, I got the wrong thing. What, what I was talking about, do you know these, this kind of, kinds of agencies that will give you, like, a certificate? That you have, like, some kind of land, like, you own land on the moon? Or some kind of shit, like, which obviously don't mean anything? Because no one owns the moon? But, like, people still pay money to get those. And it's, like, the stupidest shit ever. That's the, that's the kind of agency that I am for cubes. Oh yeah, the, this agency is also like to sell like stars, I think. Like they they will sell to you like the idea that you own a star, on not own a star. You like there's a star named after you. Who who even buys this? Like honestly, it's just like. How do you even want something like this? Mm, second. I always like find this completely ridiculous. The funniest thing, I think, like, someone in my Hamlet has this gifted to them. Why do you want to play video games? I mean, a video game exists, at least, you know? Like, like, uh, it's like, I don't know, a book, a movie. There was like real effort put into this. It means something, right? When I pay for a video game... Well, I don't actually buy a video game because I believe like Steam agreement... I mean, if I don't buy physical copy, I don't really own a copy of the game. I think I rent it technically, but it doesn't matter. You can't do shit with, a, with, like, a paper that tells you own land on the moon. Because no one actually owns the moon. Like, this is just straight up lies. I mean, I guess it's a nice present, like, you know? Like, on an almost a joke level. Like, haha, see, like, what I, like, gave to you. I guess it's kind of a nice present, but, like, I don't know why would people do this, like, unironically. Honestly. Because, like, it actually means nothing. It's just like somebody bought a fucking printer and just printed out like the certificates. What's the What's up with this texture? Why is it black? Oh yeah, also also this this is gonna happen a lot to people.
people are gonna like fall in the water a lot. Boom, boom, boom. What's like legitimately though? What's what's wrong with this? Why is it not showing anything? Was it like a pitch black? Weird. Maybe like cancel. Let's just reopen everything. Just restart hammer. With UVMF, no thanks. Like hammer hammer likes to do some shit in any guns where it just wants you to reload the map for some reason. It's, it also doesn't say, save the fact that I pressed the show button. The this groups. Also, weird. By the way, on the topic of pain for the games. Uh... Oh no, it's it's there. What's the problem? Uh, I bought an EA Play subscription lately, recently, because I'm not paying whatever it is they take for. They ask for it takes two. I don't know how much will it be in like in foreign currency. Like me and my friend just wanted to play it, and it's just. Too expensive. Like for a game that we're gonna play and never touch again afterwards. So we bought EA Play. And I wanted to play Crisis because like EA Play also has like Crisis and some other games. So I wanted to play the first Crisis. I've never played the first Crisis. They say it's a good game. Like my dad loves it. Mm, like, ev like many people love it. They say it's a good first person shooter. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna play Crisis, okay? Guess what? Steam page says, uh, like, this game is included with your EA Play, whatever. But, it, like, you can't install it. They just. They just removed it from the platform. Like, it's not on Steam. What's wrong with this? I believe like you can play Crisis remaster remastered, but oh, I I realize what's wrong with this. It's vertex texture. Yeah, it's a vertex texture. I wasn't paying attention. Also, hammer. Cut the decimals again. For some reason. I'm stupid. They told me vertex textures don't work. I didn't listen. And it's supposed to be... It's supposed to be fine now. Yeah, it's fine. So we get here, this button is supposed to cause a blackout. Yes, a blackout. So like everything is going to just shut down when this button when you press the button so um
alt enter and let's you know what i can i, I realized i haven't named stuff really fix up name um left one this is gonna be laser fake because it's gonna shut down and never go back online laser catcher the laser catcher uh bridge one and it's going to be bridge two. And I don't think I have any interactable objects anywhere else yet. So and contrast bridge one instance. Oh, so I'm gonna like instance counter add. Oh, this is going to be hard using these instances. Maybe there's a there's an easier way. Maybe there is. I just bridge. Nope. There's no easy way. Or maybe there is edit instance. See how it works. Alt enter. Prop underscore wall underscore projector. That's the way. Fuck bridge dot VMF. Wall underscore projector is my new friend. Prop underscore wall underscore projector. Excuse me. So, same drill with, as with this, same thing as with these two, except now done properly. Boom. Why? Why do you think your wrong side up i mean not up but you, you know what i mean why is it why does it think it's you know what i'm not even gonna ask i mean i guess i asked already but so hold and uh, um start enabled nope and this is bridge Two. And this guy is bridge underscore one. And this 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 should start on. And when I press the button, um, delay before res reset negative one. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna bridge one. Disable. Add. Mm. Actually, maybe. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe these lasers are also not as good. Maybe I shouldn't really be using an instance. Maybe I should be using a. Uh, E and V portal laser funk no portal volume. Uh, no, I guess maybe I should be using an instance in this case. So outputs copy paste uh laser underscore fake. Add an input, and it's supposed to turn off, I guess. And what else? What else do we have here? We don't really think. 
Uh, oh, no, we have the lift. The lift is supposed to go down. Lift one. Give an input there. Go. And I attempted to compile an instance again. Oh, look at that. Another chamber. The counter is going up again. Am I doing a full compile again? Don't tell me I'm doing a full compile. No, I'm making a fast compile. Start the map. Go straight for the chamber. I could have sworn I turned this off. Not really go doing as expected. So, uh, maybe connection count is supposed to be set to one in here. And here connection count one. Probably. This guy is not enabled. I could have sworn I uh, set it to no. Let's try it now. Maybe. I'm hoping. I probably should like not compile anything but this chamber. So, okay, the the starting state of the chamber is all right. That's how it's supposed to open. Go here. Yep. And the room is supposed to, well, black out now. Cool. And it does black out. Except now there is supposed to be a panel that opens and kind of lets you into the lets you go into a backstage area that from that good also these uh, this death is not very very well executed death because you like fall down Not good. But I think it's a topic for another day. For now, the chamber should be just functional. So, allow me to assign it to its own this groups. This group. New group. Room 4. Close. Welcome to the room for this group. And remove everything except room four. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff I haven't really categorized. But that's supposed to make the map compile faster anyway. So, uh, let's go to the model browser. Where's the control shift uh control shift M as far as I remember, yeah. And search for the uh, for wall panels. That could like be retracted. No. Something along these lines, but not really ARM um, 8 panel.
straight piston panel light panel so i'm guessing i will have to do this And then rotate it somehow, right? Not a very good thing, to be honest. I was expecting something else. Maybe I should, like, bomb. Room transform arm. Um, and I'm looking for an. Is there telescope arm 128? This is good. Yeah. This is what I want to see. This is how I want to have it. And then I want it to uh, retract. Maybe. Not really sure. Maybe I'm going to find something better. Maybe even this. This this looks even better. This is just amazing. These are the arms that pulled lettuce. These are also not the right arms. This is... Yeah, now this is just... The stuff that... Leaving the wall on living. So I want to have something that will open like a wall. This is map editor props. So I'm guessing where was the uh, one telescope arm um, 128 and uh, I want the one that oh this one only has glass. Sadly, sadly, it only has glass. So I'm guessing then I'm kind of stuck with. Wait. Do they all have glass? I'm guessing they all have glass on the other side. So, this is the kind of arm that I want to see. I'll go and I will cut a hole in the wall. Oh, fuck. Hopefully, I can cut the hole straight. And I'm also... Nope. Hopefully, I'm also not going to delete one of the sites because I don't really need to. Yep. No. It. Oops, it did it again. Boom. And now I can cut this off. Oh no, I need to cut this off. 
it's only 128 units. So, yep, and now I can put an arm behind it. So, like, this wall on the outside. Let me cover it in the plastic texture. Like, this is how it looks on the outside. It, it's maybe temporarily, but maybe it's not. I'm not really sure yet. And now I need a crop dynamic. Underscore dynamic. Now we put it over here. Get it, and I will. Uh, world model. And I will put the small one here. And it's kind of bad. So now I will have to 180 down, 90 down. Actually, is there a 180 down? I mean, you obviously won't create a, like, your own animation, then. Wall out, move, move, in. No, no, obviously I'm not using this stupid stuff. <clears throat> so where is it? Um, exterior. That's kind of what I want. Wait, arm exterior. So, where's the idle ones? Just um, see the bigger picture, please. Yeah, thanks. Arm um, exterior, and there's a lot of exterior arms also. Man, I need to look at the at the actual portal uh, challenge mode I need to see the escape map Where are all of the exterior? Hmm. Not really getting any hints. Uh, I'm guessing this is a hint. This honestly doesn't make any fucking sense, it's just connected to a stupid texture. But I'm guessing that's how I'm supposed to do it. So that's how I will do it. So I will have this uh, 
One down, idle. Two down. Idle and. What does idle and mean? Okay, so it's supposed to like... Okay, activities, skins, info. Okay, so I'm using this... Um, mall. I actually think I'm gonna do this... Uh, Tomorrow, or even the day after tomorrow, because tomorrow I think it will be busy. Actually, let me let me check how the um exterior like how, how does the array of arms. Like the array of arms looks a little bit differently from a little bit different from like a singular arm looks was what a single arm looks like. Rail. Sequences. So I'm guessing it needs this stuff. It also needs a rail. It kind of connects to it, I guess. How does it even? What does it even look like? Sixty-four by sixty-four arm. This is kind of the stuff, but. Not doing shit. It's, it's like sh the animations is not are not useful. Oh, hanging arm. Oh, one. Except <laughs> it doesn't have any animations again. Why? Like, some of these are just such good arms. And they just don't have animations. This is just has a bent pose. Anim idol. Arm. So this is, oh yeah, it's a laser arm. Panel top. Arm interior. So this is just a falling part. All of these are just the destruction a destruction perhaps. Not really useful. This could be a very good one. But I honestly don't know if it's going to work the way I want it to work. If it's going like to, to be what I need. So honestly, you can just like do a different one. There's plenty of those. Like. It doesn't go all the other way around, though. Like it doesn't do 180.
complicated. I guess I can use this for 128 by 128 panel. So this is its center. So now it's aligned with the center. Where have I hide the panel? Now it's clipping. So I need to somehow hide it. I need to do a look. I need it to go like this. Maybe have another prop. It's going to be just maybe to mount it. We'll have this. Uh, or is it exterior tiny? Construction platform, etc. etc. Is this the mount for it? It's also prop static, probably. Static. Why? So rotate it. Put it in here. Is it like an entire prop? Yeah, I guess so. Using the wrong viewport. Viewport. Is that how I'm, how I'm supposed to do it? Model bent those. One down idle. Two down idle. Yeah, I think that's probably how I'm, how I'm supposed to do that. So I'm rotating it. So I'm signing it like this. No, it's not good. Uh, oh, five down. I'll. Nope. Oh, six down. I'll. Oh, six looks. No. Oh, 07 down idle. The other way around. Oh, 08 down idle. The fuck is this? Lock edge drop. Oh, 01 idle. Lock lower one drop idle. Let me just go to the mall viewer and see all of these. Boom. Boom. The third one could do it. Nope. It's too... Too blocky. All of these animations are too damn fast. This is good. I like this. If I can play it in reverse.
if I could only play it in reverse. This is going to be great. Actually, th like this menu song that plays right now. First of all, I'm gonna switch to a map. For reason of which apparently silencing the stream VAR or having a soundtrack like the beginning of the previous stream got silenced and also it kind of started to remind me like the ghost of Ratman I'm 64 by 60 Maybe some of these. <gasps> or maybe a push out arm. So, 20 out straight. Maybe, maybe I just go with this. And what I do is I'm going to rotate it. And I'm gonna just do this stupid, stupid thing. And rotate it. Do this, and then like have an animation of it pulling this panel in. Though I don't really mm. The best map to see how this works in my opinion is the one the full the reunion uh, the itch Rachel snap. Thanks. The itch. The first map of the itch. Or maybe the last map of the previous chapter. No. It's not the final intro. Uh, exit to main menu. Oh, come on, could you just... So we have the reunion, the edge. So it's... Great gels. Um, maybe I need to start a new game of the edge. Just to see inspiration. Yeah, because it has a lot of this backstage stuff. Yeah, this is perfect. Your boxes with legs. It's, it's literally your only purpose. Walking onto buttons. How can you not do the one thing you're designed for? Try to get us down there. I'll hit him with a paradox. Warmer, warmer, boiling hot, boil. Okay, colder, colder, ice cold. You're Arctic now. It's your, your best. Yes, it shoots one. Oh, oh. It was just. It was just hanging in thin air. Valve didn't didn't really even bother. So, uh, Rob Dynamic Telescope Arm um, One Twenty Eight. 
Let's wall arm drop dynamic Magna portal volume power the bottom arms uh, This bone follower. So team, team. What I'm trying to do is see if maybe oh, this is just a decoration. This bone follower. Who is the fist bone for? Oh, all of the, the auto generator. Yeah, this is the kind of lift that I was talking about yesterday. Oh, I can have this support beam with the stuff. And then have just a bunch of these. And... This entire chamber makes no goddamn sense, I'm gonna be honest. Let's go a little further. Because like, uh, when you complete the same chamber two times in a row, you have to make sure there's just no hook inside. Floor, funk brush. Um, true. I'll go true. Yeah, that was easy. I'll be honest, I might have heard that one before though. Sort of cheating. It's a paradox. There is no answer. Look, this place is going to blow up if I. You have no idea what it's like in this body. I have to test all the time. Yeah. This, this We've heard it. You know, it must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh. Well, I'll tell you, when I do test, oh, oh, man alive, nothing feels better. It's just, I'm just, that's why I've got to test, that's why I've got to test. So, you're going to test, and I'm going to watch, and everything. Oh, yes. Oh, well done. Oh, that's tremendous. Amazing. Oh, that felt really good. Now he's gonna tell us that maybe we should test again and we'll see how they implement like the door that opens. Oh, okay. I guess that's how. So instead of doing all that crap. Whatever, whatever it was I was doing, that I was doing. The way it was then. Are these also fung brushes? Yeah. This is also a fung brush. Gold 35 brush. So I should just... Let it be attached to nothing. Okay, learning from Bell. We're, we're learning from Bell. Models, let's just be. Uh, where's the 90 degrees idle? 90 degrees... And cornerback. It's not exactly how it's supposed to be. Is there like a state for this? Let's go 
rift is close. What that pose is this? 90 degrees, 64 cornerback idle. So, uh, 90 degrees, 64 cornerback idle. Delete this crap. Don't need it, apparently. Extend this crap. This crap should be extended. So. What I need is... To rotate it like this. And to duplicate this wall to over here. One seventy six. No, it's supposed to be like a multiple of two. Well, a multiple of a power of two. So, boom, like this. Rotate this shit. And yeah. Actually, no, not really. I can't open this outside because there will be a person standing in here. So we'll need them to open inside. Aha. Uh -huh. So I need them to go. So this is six, 16, 32, 64, I guess. And I guess I need them to go 64 units. Oh, fuck. Didn't duplicate. Can you just... Duplicate? Thanks. Thanks. What a horrible editor. I'm hoping this is... 32 minus 16. E. No, it's not 32 minus 16. Okay. 64 minus 16, yeah. It's... I'm so damn stupid. And this is supposed to be then the sequence. 32 snow. Uh, 90 degrees. Uh, 64 out, corner back. Down. Corner front idle. Yeah, like this. Oh, come on. So, 90 degrees corner front idle. And apply it. And I want to move it over here. And I will have this duplicated. So, th this is roughly how I'm gonna do it. I will also create a panel for this, I guess. And like all the fancy stuff. But not now. Now I think I'm going to end the stream. I'm gonna like... Yeah, I'm gonna end the stream. Did a lot today. Gonna do more tomorrow? Oh no. I don't wanna lie. I'm actually probably not gonna do anything tomorrow. I think I'm gonna be busy tomorrow. But next time, we will continue where we left off. Also, I'm gonna. Go and I'm gonna go and commit the changes and upload them on GitHub. Push the changes. The changes are live, and yeah, that's it.
thanks for to everyone who joined. Goodbye.